Hi folks, I am solving lead code stop 150 questions and that's all you need for your coding interviews. In this video, we'll be solving 134 gas station. We are given N gas station along with a circular route where the amount of gas at I is its value. And we have a car with unlimited amount of gas tank and it costs us cost at I gas to travel from I H station to the next I plus one station. We begin the journey with empty gas station and we have to return starting index of gas station from where we can start and do a circular round from there in clockwise direction. Otherwise, we have to return false. It's also given that if a solution exists, then it's guaranteed to be unique. Let's take this example here and think about how we can solve this. If we start at this position, it costs us three units to go from zero to one. So it's a good idea to take a diff out of both of these array. The diff will be gas at I minus cost at I. So it will be minus two here. Again, this will also be minus two and three minus five. This is also minus two, four minus one. This is actually a positive integer, which is three. And again, five minus two, this is also three. So this is our diff of these two. A brute force way to think about this is let's start from this element. And from here, we want to make a full circle back to this position right here. And if it's possible, then we can return the index of this or else we have to return minus one. So since the difference is minus two here, we can't go to the next one. Let's just say we start from here again. Since the difference is minus two, we can't go similar for this. Now let's start from this three. We are here and we have three gases available. So we move to this one and now we have six gas available. And again, when we move here, we have, so here it's minus two. So this will be four. Now we are at this index. Again, we move from here to here. Now we'll be at our last index and that will leave us with two of the gases and we will use this two gases to reach this three right here. And that will end up with zero gases available. So from here, we can say, that sum of gas should be greater than sum of cost. Otherwise, no matter where we start, we can't reach a full circle. So we will always make sure about this condition and we can initially return minus one if this is not true. Now let's try to see how we can approach this problem. We can check if our total is greater than or equal to zero because if the total is not, then we can't start from there. Let's see when we are here, our total is minus two, but this is less than zero. So we will reset our total to zero. Again, we come here. This is again negative value, which is less than zero. So again, we will ignore this. We come here. This is again minus two, which is less than zero. So we will reset our total back to zero. And now we are at this three right here. So our total now becomes three and it is greater than zero. So we can start from this index at least. And then we will go on to our next element. So this three will become six now. Now let's try to follow on how we will solve this. I hope you found this video helpful. If yes, you can consider subscribing to the channel and thank you so much for watching.